Hello guys, I'm Jermaine. Together with my teammate Shafiq, we are Year 3 UDM Chemical Engineering students are going to explain about the occupational safety, health and environment knowledge OSHA to you. Talking about OSHA, you need to know HIRAP, which is our main discussion today. What is HIRAP? It is a three-step risk management through HI hazard identification, RA, risk assessment, and RC, risk control. Hazard identification is to identify the potential harm and its causes during a work activity. Next, risk assessment is to identify the risk probability. It can be calculated by using the formula L likelihood times S severity. Both L and S are categorized into five levels with respective rate. If you get the result 1 to 4, it indicates low risk. 5 to 12 means medium risk and 15 to 25 is high risk. Immediate precaution is required. Then, what is the available RC control can be taken? By following the control hierarchy, the most effective way is elimination while the least is wearing PPE, personal protective equipment. Let's use chemical lab work as the example industry. Before conducting any lab work, we need to set up. The potential hazards of setup are adequate access and air conditioning. In appropriate setting may also cause slippery or object falling from the height. The likelihood of this activity is frequent, 5, while the severity is only caused a minor injury, which is 1, 5 times 1 is 5, so our risk level is considered as medium. The recommend control measure is administrative control. Laboratories need to understand the SOP of lab, plan the experiment procedures ahead, and survey on the properties of chemicals that will be used to avoid the potential hazard. Hazard identification that you face when working in a chemical lab is an excellent chemical spill. As we all know, working in a chemical lab will be involved in a lot of chemical transfer, and most of them can be really high in pH value. So the likelihood that a chemical spill will happen is five because we all know working in, if you're doing an experiment you're doing a lot of chemical transfer a lot and the severity i give it a three because it can cause a lot of fatal injuries such as when you transfer a really acidic chemical it will cause you cause your hand to have a degree burn and plenty of corrosive so the risk level is 15 because it can give you a lot of health problem issues so in order for us to control this, we can wear PPE such as a glove because that is the least thing you can do to prevent the chemical from directly spilled into your hand that can cause a red inflammation and you don't want that to occur. The third hazard identification is disposal of chemical residue. Working in a lab, you'll be doing handling a lot of things that is too volatile. So when it's too volatile, it will array in the surrounding room in the whole session and you don't want that to occur so you need to dispose it properly so the likelihood that this problem will occur is five and because we're doing this every single time when we finish the lab work and the severity is quite low which is one because it may not cost you plenty of major damage to yourself but at least it can harm some people and it can give you a medium risk of a uh, risk level so in order for us to control this, we need to use appropriate waste treatment which is by dilute the concentrated solution itself before we throw it into the sinkhole or into the biohazard beam because that is the least thing we could do to prevent the nature from affected by this chemical residue or at least that's the least thing to keep the laboratory a safe place to work again. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, comment, and share to let more people know about what is hierarchy. See you next time. Bye-bye.